Ugreen is a company I've used for my peripherals for a very, very long time. And these are the Hi-Tune T2 True Wireless Open Ear Style Headphones. And this is my first time ever experiencing an audio product from Ugreen. And to be honest, when it comes to basics, this thing pretty much nails it. You get this nice matte finish case, which opens up pretty comfortably, especially with that indent, although it does also attract a fair few smudges. The hinge does have some leeway where it opens and closes very, very easily, although there is some attention to detail from Ugreen as well. So if you pull it all the way, it sort of locks in place. So then it doesn't close or open as easily. And then when you want to close it, it just closes like that. So that's pretty neat. Also for other hardware, you find things like a Type-C USB port, as well as a function button that helps you pair these headphones via Bluetooth 5.0. Simply hold the function button for about three to five seconds to engage in pairing mode. And once that's done, you can pretty much find these headphones in your device's Bluetooth settings click on it and they'll pair almost instantaneously. One thing that I do want to say is that this doesn't pair with multiple devices, so that's something you should watch out for. Let's take a look at the earbuds now. They sit pretty tight in the case and there's no chance that they're falling off, so that's really nice to see. They also feel pretty robust and you also get IPX5 certification, so if you're sweating, these should be fine. Each earbud has a open style, so there's no silicon tip and because of that, fit will be very subjective. In my case, if you put on both of the earbuds, the right earbud sits fairly snug in my ear, it doesn't fall off at all, but the left one falls off as soon as I turn around. So that's something that you'll have to keep in mind, this being a very subjective fit for many, and my typical use case with the headphones was using only the right side. You can definitely use just one and it works fine. Because of the open back nature of the headphones, you won't get the best external noise reduction, but in a quiet environment, audio should be fine. Although to test the audio quality of the earbuds, I did put on both and sort of held them in place so that I get a better understanding of how these perform in terms of quality. I'd say for simple music, things like pop music, as well as vocal tracks and even podcast listening, these are plenty, but as soon as you move up a notch and maybe look for the details in instrumental music, these won't cut it. I did find though that there was a hint of latency between what was being said on screen and what was being heard. And I think this depends on the type of device that you use these headphones with. Although when I use them, I felt it less on my smartphone and more when I was using it on my computer or laptop. There's also a gaming mode on these headphones, but frankly, I didn't use it much because one, I was using only one earbud for the most time. And to be honest, it didn't really make much of a big difference when switching between gaming centric mode and just the normal listening mode. The other thing I wanna talk about is the gesture support on the T2 True Wireless earbuds. Now, I've used many in the past where gestures have been unresponsive, but with these, it's completely the opposite. The gestures are very, very responsive, almost too responsive, and that means even if I'm slightly adjusting the earbuds, it triggers a gesture response. Now, some people might like that, but personally, I would have liked it to be somewhere in the middle for more of a balanced experience. Regardless, the gestures you get are a single tap for pause and play, double tap on the left or right earbud for volume down and up respectively, and triple tap on the left and right earbud to skip forward or backward tracks. You can also pick up calls with a tap and audio performance was fine. The person I was speaking to on a phone call said my voice sounded just a bit unnatural, but it was still audible and very, very clear. And as far as my end goes, I think things sounded pretty okay. Even in a noisier environment, these can handle the job just fine. Oh, and if you're someone who uses Google Assistant a lot, you can just hold for two seconds to trigger Assistant. And again, I thought this was a bit too responsive going back to the gestures because I don't really use Google Assistant and for it to trigger every time I was adjusting the earbuds or holding them in place, that was a bit annoying. But for the overall sort of functionality, I think the gesture support on the headphones is pretty excellent. I would like to see Ugreen make these gestures sort of customizable via a companion application and perhaps also look at a wear detection mode where when you pull off the headphones, the tracks automatically pause and when you put them back on, they play. I think that would be one big factor that could sort of change the experience at this budget. Something that Ugreen's got spot on though is battery. On a typical day's use, 
these last. I'd say for continuous playback, you're looking at maybe four to five hours at 70 to 80% volume. Charging the earbuds takes about one hour and 20 minutes on a fully charged case, and you can get up to four cycles. So that's about 16 to 20 hours of typical usage. The case charges via Type-C USB, and a cable is provided out of the box. But you can also wirelessly charge the headphones, so that's a plus point. So in a nutshell, where do these stand? I think for basic things like meetings, podcasts, vocals, as well as sort of pop genre music, these are ideal, especially with the battery life that you get with these. However, these do not have wear detection, these do not support multi-devices simultaneously, and these do not come with Aptex audio codec support. But the majority of the choices are going to be made with personal preference in mind. For me, I like headphones with silicon tips, so these are almost always going to be a second choice for me because they don't fit comfortably in my left ear, as you just saw. But if you're looking for an open back style of earphones, which do deliver on things like battery life and have some decent sound as well, all for a budget price tag, these are a splendid choice. As always, thanks for watching this one and do let me know what you guys think about the headphones down in the comments. You can also get these for yourself using the link down in the description. Definitely like and subscribe for more videos to come. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios!